The horror of an airplane being used as a missile is unbelievable enough, but the world was shocked later when the Twin Towers collapsed to the ground. Searching to find out why the building fell the way it did, I contacted Ralph Lerner, who's the dean of the School of Architecture at Princeton University. Lerner's been teaching and practicing architecture for more than 25 years, and he's worked on many projects around the globe. And he has his suspicions. It was clearly the heat and intensity and the uncontrollability of the fire, which eventually caused the outer skin to fail, and then one slab came down on another and another and another, and you saw it come straight down. In essence, the fire burned through the support system of the floors above, then pancaking down. But the fact both towers withstood the initial impact of the planes is a testament to the designers of the building. The World Trade Center is designed as a tube. It's a very good design. It's a structural tube, and there are lots of small columns closely spaced that form the outer tube. And that's why it has that unique metallic characteristic with small windows, not large areas of glass, and lots of closely spaced columns. There are no interior columns in the World Trade Center. The only other structural element is the concrete core in the middle. And that's a good design, and I think it's a tribute to that design that the, when the airplane hit, it was not the impact of the airplane in either tower. Mm -hmm. Minoru Yamasaki was the architect of the two 110-story towers and the five other buildings in the World Trade Center complex. And people here in Mercer County may not realize, but Yamasaki helped design the Woodrow Wilson School Building here on the campus of Princeton University. The designs of the columns and the windows on the Woodrow Wilson School have a striking resemblance to the Twin Towers, the towers which stood as a symbol of American power. World Trade Center have become an icon for America, or a certain aspect of America, and were vulnerable to attack because they represented that. And it's that vulnerability that all Americans are being forced to face today. Reporting from Princeton, Brian Bossler, WZBN News.